So, Jane, tell us about yourself. Tell you what? Anything. I'm from Brighton. I'm a drama teacher. I don't smoke. I like films. Good food. Good food? Yeah. Italian, French, Chinese. Do you cook? Yes, I'm a very good cook. Do you have a dog? No. Cat? No. No animals. Do you play the drums? No. The trombone? Violin? Saxophone? <laughs> Nothing. That's great. Jane, it's your room. Fantastic. When can you move in? Next week. This week? Tomorrow? Sure. Welcome to 53 Blackwood Road. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So now, there are four of us. There are four people in the house now, and I'm very happy. And Jane? Well, we all like her. Morning, everybody. What's this? It's a video film. About my new house and my new housemates. It's for my sister, Alison. Oh, right. Is it OK? Yeah, sure. OK, Ali. This is the kitchen. And who is this? Well, say something. Say what? It's half past seven in the morning. Talk to my sister. Introduce yourself. Go on, David. Hello, I'm David. I come from Manchester. I'm a lawyer. I work in Oxford. That's it. What things do you like? Uh, I like my job. I like football, swimming. I like a quiet breakfast and I don't like video cameras. And I start work at eight o'clock, so bye. Bye. David's nice, really. Ready? Just a minute. Ready. Hello, my name's Helen. I come from London, but I live in Oxford. What else? What do you do? I'm a marketing assistant for a publishing company. I work in Oxford, but I sometimes go to the London office. I usually go to work at eight o'clock, and I get home at half past six. Is it a good job? It's a very good job. I really like it. What else do I like? I also like good food, films. I go to the gym at the weekend. Oh, and I like travel. I love France and Spain. I speak a little French and Spanish. What things don't you like? Well... I don't like noise. Oh, and I don't like cigarettes. Great. You're welcome. Where's Matt? I think Matthew's still in bed. Matt. Matt. Mm. It's Jane. Can I come in? Mm. Matt, mm. do you want to be in a film for my sister? Mm. Mm. Just say something. Mm. Where are you from? Um. Mm. 
Matt, where are you from? Birmingham. He's from Birmingham. What about your job? Shop manager. He's a shop manager. He works in a computer game store. He likes computer games. Mm. Matt? Mm. Do you like computer games? Mm. And he likes rock music. And he loves his bed. Mm. Matt? What time do you usually get up? Half past seven. It's eight o'clock. It's Wednesday. I start work at one o'clock on Wednesdays. Matt. Oh. It's Tuesday. A perfect start to a perfect day for Matthew. My room. It's big. It's comfortable. But I don't know. The walls. This chair. Everything. Move the bed. Where? How about under the window? Put the hi-fi on the chest of drawers. Put the chair in the corner. I don't know. Why don't you paint it? Paint what? Paint the room. I don't know. I'm not very practical. I don't like painting. I'm always too busy. I don't really have time today. I have a lunch appointment at one o'clock. It's impossible. Can we do it for you? Really? Yes. Yeah. Are you sure? Of course we're sure. What about the colour? Oh, I don't know. Something nice. Now don't worry. You go out, enjoy your lunch. And leave it with us. Thank you. Okay, let's go and buy some paint. Matt, do you want to come? Yeah. Do you want to get dressed? Oh, right. There is a DIY store here. Where? Not on this road. Ask someone. Hang on. Excuse me. Is there a DIY store near here? Yes. Go straight on, turn left at the roundabout, go down the road, and it's on the right next to the supermarket. Thank you. about this black there are some really nice colors here oh look this is lovely how much is it 16 pounds 49 gosh that's expensive
Hey, Matt! This is the same colour as your T-shirt. It's gorgeous. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. How much is it? £11.99. How many do we want? Two. That's £23.98. £24. It's OK. Now, are there any rollers? Uh, there are some over there. Great. I love it. Mm. It looks interesting, but good. I like it. Finished. Thanks. I really like this colour. Me too. The room looks great. Here she is. Hello. Hi, Helen. We're up here. Can I go in? Yep. Welcome to your new bedroom. Oh, Matt, your T-shirt. What? The colour. It's horrible. Next time, Helen, don't ask for help. Do it yourself. This is how it started. Another exciting evening at 53 Blackwood Road. Hi, Julia. How are you? Yeah, sure. When's your birthday? The 4th of August. That's Leo. You're a lion. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. What about you? My birthday is the 16th of March. I'm a Pisces. The fish? Ow. So what's the horoscope sign for this month? May. The first part is Taurus. The bull. So Jane's a bull. Is Jane's birthday this month? When? The 13th. The 13th of May. It's the 11th of May today. That's in two days. Are you sure? That's what she said. Did you hear? No. It's Jane's birthday on Saturday. Why don't we have a party? In two days? Yeah. A surprise party. Good idea. Right. How many people? Just the four of us. A meal, the cake, something to drink, presents. OK. Let's make a shopping list.
I've got it. Let's see it. <gasps> that looks great. Where did you get it? Ow. I bought it at Pascal's, you know, next to the bank. How much was it? It was fifteen pounds. Did you get the candles? You didn't get the candles. I did. Thank you. When does Jane get home? Usually at half past six, after her game of tennis. In about twenty minutes. Oh no! She's early. David, help me with this cake. Matt, don't let her come into the kitchen. Oh. How? Talk to her. Two minutes. What do you want me to talk about? Anything. Hi, Jane. Hi, Matt. It let me. Thanks. Did you have a nice day? Uh, yes. What did you do? I went shopping. What did you buy? I bought a T-shirt and some shoes, and I bought some food. Matt, are you okay? What else did you do? I played tennis. Where? At the sports centre. I had a good day. Did you? Uh, I got up at about uh, oh, about eleven o'clock, uh, and then I had breakfast. I had cornflakes and I had toast and coffee, and orange juice. And then I watched television, and then. Matt, please move now. <laughs> Birthday. It's not your birthday, Matthew. But you said it was the thirteenth of May. The thirtieth of May, Matt. Not the thirteenth. Then what do we do with all this food and drink? We can still have a party. Then what about the thirtieth? We can have a party then too. Sure. <laughs> Great. Two parties, but only one present, yeah. Oh, uh, David. What? Really? Cheers. <laughs> so that was the surprise party, a real surprise. Welcome to the house. For everyone. Are you free this evening? For a meal, yeah. You are. That's fantastic. It's David's new friend on the phone.、Restaurant. I think he really likes her. Brilliant. It sounds very exciting.、Then. See you at seven thirty. Bye. David has a date. When? Tonight. What's her name? Julia. Julia. When did you meet her? Two weeks ago. Do you mind? What is it tonight then? Cinema? Theatre? Opera? A burger? <laughs> a restaurant? Which one? Hong Kong House. It's Chinese. It's very good. It's very cheap. It's very good. Well, I hope you and、uh, Julia, Julia, have a great time. I'll come with you. Have a nice evening. Bye then. Bye. This is it. Oh, 
Chinese. Um, I had a Chinese meal yesterday. Can we go somewhere else? Where would you like to go? I love Italian food. Is there an Italian restaurant near here? I don't know. Yes, there is. Marco's. It's about five minutes away. Marco's? Oh, yes, but that's... What's the problem? Nothing. Come on. It's really lovely here. Thanks, David. Don't mention it. You know, I can speak Italian. Just a little. Can you? I can't speak any languages. <laughs> Say something, Tim. Good evening, sir. Madam. Go on. Um, buonasera. Uh, potere abbiamo il menu, per favore? Ah, molto bene, signore. Vuole vedere la lista dei vini? Sorry, can you speak more slowly, please? Would you like to see the wine list, sir? <laughs> yes, please. Grazie. What would you like to start? The soup looks nice. I think I'd like the truffles. Okay, the truffles, and can I have the soup, please? Sir. So, truffles and the soup. And for the main course? I'd like the lobster. And I'd like the roast chicken. To drink? How about a bottle of champagne? Sir? Mm. The champagne? Yes. A bottle of champagne? It's hard work, but I like my job. It's very interesting. Mm. And... I like playing sports at the weekends, football, tennis, and I like reading, books, magazines. Really? This is delicious. Can we have the bill, please? Certainly, sir. Thank you very much, sir. What time is your train? Half past ten. Half past ten? It's half past ten now. Oh dear. Can you ring for a taxi? A taxi? Thanks for a wonderful evening. Don't mention it. Good night. Good night. How much is it so far? Uh, 19 pounds 50, sir. But I only have 20 pounds. Uh. Do you take credit cards? <laughs> Visa? American Express? No. A cheque? Sorry. I only take cash, sir. Thank you very much indeed, sir. Good night. So that was David's date with Julia. He got home in time for breakfast.
We're all cleaning the house today. We don't clean it every Saturday, but today is different. Jane's sister is coming to visit. What does your sister do? She's a student. What is she studying? Film studies. Gosh, that sounds interesting. There, finished. Actually, there's a.、Uh... Oh. What time is she arriving? Two thirty. I'm going to my yoga class, and then I'm meeting her at the station. Hello. Can you turn that off? What? Can you turn that off? Wait a minute. What did you say? Never mind. Hello. Hello. Can I speak to Jane, please? Certainly. Who's calling? It's Alison, her sister. Just a moment, Jane. It's your sister. Why is she calling now? It's only twelve o'clock. Hello, Ali. Where are you? Hi, Jane. I'm at the station. But you're two and a half hours early. I know. I got the first train. Ali, I can't meet you. I have a yoga class at half past twelve. That's okay. I can come to your house by bus. No, it's too difficult. Hold on. Can anybody meet my sister? My yoga class starts in twenty minutes. I can. I can. I can. Please. I hate cleaning. <laughs> okay. Hello, Ali. Matt can meet you. There's a cafe near the station, the Rose Cafe. Why don't you wait there? Okay. Can you meet Ali at the Rose Cafe? Sure. What does she look like? Hold on, Ali. She's quite tall and she has long, dark brown hair. What's she wearing? Hello, Ali. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a cream coat and a black sweater. She's wearing a cream coat and a black sweater. Sorry. Hold on. How long? About fifteen minutes. About fifteen minutes. And listen, any problems? Call me on my mobile. Okay. See you later. Bye. Alison, 
Where is he? Isn't he there? What does he look like? He has dark hair and a beard. Oh, hang on, is he wearing a black leather jacket and black jeans? It's okay, he's here. See you later. Bye. Bye. Sorry. 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 No, Just go away. away. Sorry. Uh, I think there's some mistake, Matt. I'm Alison. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hi. I thought... It's uh... okay. Um, let's go. Sorry about that. Sorry I was late. I got a flat tyre. No problem. The car's just around the corner. What's the matter? Why are you carrying that bag? It's your bag, isn't it? No. Then who? He's wearing black jeans and a black leather jacket. Yes. And he's carrying my bag. We met Alison that afternoon. Oh, I love us. How are you? Sorry, that evening. After Matt's conversation with the police. It's a big day today. We have a new neighbor, and we're all very excited. Well, Jane and I certainly are. You ready? It's quarter to seven. What time does the film start? Half past seven. Okay. He's nice. He's very nice. But not good looking. He is good looking. Hmm. It's nearly ten to seven. Who's that? New neighbour. That's a nice car. I bet it's fast. That thing, no, it's slow. It's very expensive. It's cheap. Is it? Oh, yeah. And it's horrible. Let's say hello. Now? Yes. Hello. 
Hi. I'm Helen. I'm Simon. And I'm Jane. Hi, Jane. Come in and meet the others. Okay. This is Matt. Hi, I'm Simon. Hello. And I'm David. Hi. Would you like some tea or coffee? Oh, yes, coffee, please. Matt, can you? What? Oh yeah, sure. Milk, no sugar. Right. Let me give you a hand. Have a seat. Thanks. So where are you from, Simon? Newcastle. David's from Manchester. Oh. I'm from London. I'm from Brighton. And Matt comes from Birmingham. What do you do? I'm a marketing assistant for McDougal's, the publishing company. I'm a drama teacher. David's a lawyer. And Matt runs a computer game shop. What about you? I'm a journalist. Really? Where do you work? I work in London for a sports magazine. Do you know Workout? Know it? I buy it. Really? <laughs> Huh. Sometimes. <laughs> Hate being late for films. Biscuits? No. I go to the office most days, but on Wednesdays and Fridays I work from home. Here's your coffee. Oh, thank you. The film starts at 7.30. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realise... Oh, don't worry. The cinema's only ten minutes away. Come on, Matt. Let's wait in the car. Bye. 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 Nice to meet you. Tell us about your job, Simon. Oh, OK. <laughs> the film starts in quarter of an hour. Where are they? What do you do at weekends? I, uh play tennis, watch football, go to the cinema, go to clubs. Do you have a girlfriend? Jane? No, it's okay. No, I don't, actually. More coffee? Jane? Hang on. I've got an idea. He doesn't have a girlfriend. He likes tennis. But he also likes football. And going to the cinema. It's David. The film starts in ten minutes. Say goodbye to your big, boring boyfriend and hurry up. Just a moment. Helen, it's David. I really like Simon, and fortunately Jane likes him too. I'm not sure if David does. Breakfast is usually a quiet time in our house. But not always. Good morning. Morning. What? Oh, sorry, morning. Where's Matt? In bed. Why? He owes me ten pounds. Oh. He doesn't start work until one today. Oh, yeah. OK, see you later. You need some breakfast. Have a slice of toast. Good idea. Can I? Thanks. Hey, it's my toast. Bye. Bye. Enjoy my breakfast. <laughs>
Hello? Matt, it's Jane. Hello? Matt? It's Jane. Hi. Listen, Matt, I need your help. I can't find my purse and it has my cash card and everything in it. I think it's in the kitchen. Could you look for it? Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, I'm in the kitchen. Can you see it? No. Sorry. Is there anything on the table? There are some plates. There's Helen's mug, but no purse. How about on the work surfaces? I can't see it. There's only the newspaper. Could you look under it? Okay. I've got it. Oh, thanks, Matt. I was really worried. Can you put it on the kitchen table? I can pick it up later. Okay. Bye. Bye. Tenant and Low, David Price speaking. Oh, David, thank heavens you're there. Jane, what's wrong? Everything. First I couldn't find my purse, so I couldn't get any money from the bank. And now I'm outside the house and I can't find my keys. Where's Matt? He was at home before, but he's not here now. I can't get away at the moment, but I'll try to come back in about 20 minutes. Is that okay? That's brilliant. Thanks, David. No problem. See you later. Bye. Okay, Jane. Oh, Simon. Hi. What's the problem? I don't have my keys. They're in the house. But I think I can get in through that window. No, you can't. It's too dangerous. I'll do it. Okay. Thanks. Be careful. <laughs> Jane. Hi, Matt. Matt? Where were you? I was here. Couldn't you hear me? Sorry. It's okay, Simon. Matt's here. He was at home all the time. You can come down now. No, I can't. I think I'm stuck. Hello, Simon. You're right. No, I'm not. Oh, dear. 
Can somebody help me, please? David and Matt rescued Simon in the end. But we didn't see Simon for a few days after that. I think he was a bit embarrassed. Our favourite bar is Freud's. We go there a lot, especially on Friday and Saturday evenings. What time are Helen and David coming? Half past eight. Right. Hey, guess what? I saw Simon last week. Really? That isn't very strange. He lives next door. Oh, ha ha. Very funny. No, I saw him in here. He has very good taste. You know, I think he really likes... Oh, no. What's wrong? At the bar, don't look. Who? Hi, Tony! How are you? Find them. Who is she, Matt? She was my girlfriend. <laughs> really? Really. How long were you together? A month. Only a month? It was a very long month. Right. When did you last see her? About three years ago. She moved to London. But she sometimes rings me at work. So she still likes you? Unfortunately, yes. Matt! <gasps> oh, Jane, help! Matty, how marvellous! Mwah! Mwah! Deb. <laughs> How long is it? Three years. You still have beautiful eyes. <laughs> you are happy to see me, aren't you, Matty? Hello. My name's Jane. Sorry? Uh, Jane is my... Fiancé. Pleased to meet you. Fiancé? I didn't know you were engaged. Didn't you? When did you get engaged? About six, six months weeks ago. ago. Months ago. <laughs> Where did you meet? On the internet. At a club. We met in a chat room on the internet, and then we met face to face at a club. Yeah. Uh, right. Yes, that's right. <laughs> it was at a club. And we fell in love, didn't we, Matt? Yes, we did. I was very shy at first, but Matt was wonderful. And when did you get engaged? On the 18th of March. Uh, no, it was on the 19th. Don't you remember? Oh, yes, you're right, darling. <laughs> Where's the ring? Sorry? Didn't you buy an engagement ring? For Jane. He did. I did? I did. But I don't wear it. Because it's a secret. Nobody knows we're engaged. Now, who wants a drink? No, thank you. Same again, please, darling. Matt, I can't believe it. You're engaged. I thought that... Yeah, sorry about that, Deb. Don't tell anybody about Jane. It, it is a secret. Oh, no. What is it? Look at Matt. He's with Deb. Poor Matt. He really didn't want to see her again. Yeah, poor Matt. Come on, let's go and help him. David, he needs our help. Hello, Deb. 
How are you? Hello, uh, Helen. Hi. Hi. Did you tell Deb our news? What news? <laughs> Matt, really? Matt and I are engaged. <laughs> What is it? Hi, everybody. What's the matter? Is something wrong, darling? So, you're engaged to Matt, and Jane is... Uh, Jane's with me. But I thought... Uh, would anyone like a drink? Jane and I told Matt it's okay to have two fiancés, but he can only marry one of us. preparing a romantic dinner for his girlfriend Julia. Unfortunately, he isn't the world's most confident cook. What is it? It's Thai chicken with chilli. Mmm, I like Thai food. Look, Julia will be here soon. Aren't you going out? It's not very hot. What do you mean? I put lots of chilli in it. Here, let me. I'll get that. Matt's right, it needs more chilli powder. There it is, Julia. Hold on. Julia's already at the station. She's early. Matt, no! Hey, give that to me. What's wrong? I put some more chilli powder in. So did I. Mmm. Too hot. Of course it's too hot. Julia can't eat this and she'll be here in quarter of an hour. You can't cook anything in 15 minutes. Jane can. She's a fantastic cook. Matt, Jane isn't here. Then phone her. Jane, it's Helen. We need your help. What's wrong? Julia's coming to dinner and Matt ruined David's delicious Thai chicken. Oh, dear. Well, can you think of something? Is there any pasta in the cupboard? Pasta, pasta. Yes, there's some pasta. How much is there? Half a kilo. That's plenty. What about tuna? There are two small tins. Matt, are there any mushrooms and onions? Yes, there are. We've got everything. Okay, Matt, boil some water. Can I do anything? It can't be her. It's only ten to eight. Don't worry, we can do this. What next? David, go! Here, sit down. Would you like some wine? Yes, please. Why don't you sit down? I can't. First course. Oh, good. I'm really hungry. Fry the onions, yep. Delicious. What's the main course? I can't wait. Uh, it's a surprise. Oh. 
Have some more wine. Thank you. I had a really busy day today. Didn't have time for lunch. It's lovely to be here and have a quiet dinner and simply relax. I'll just get the main course. Great. Here you are. Thank you so much. Thank Jane. Jane? Hi. Jane, you're wonderful. No problem. Exciting. What is it? It's called Pasta alla Giulia. Mmm, <gasps> smells very good. Oh, hang on. I forgot the salad. This is much nicer than a restaurant. It's more romantic. And is the food better too? <laughs> Possibly. Absolutely delicious. Can you give me the recipe? The recipe? I can, but... Um, but what? It's a family secret. <laughs> oh, David, really? <laughs> Matt, Jane and I did a good job for David. Maybe we could open a restaurant. On a boat. You're joking. No, really. Jane's sister, Alison, is staying for the weekend. She's going to an engagement party for Tom and Zoe, two old friends of hers. Sounds like fun. What are you going to wear? I bought a new dress. It's really lovely. Can we see it? Sure. Oh, oh that's beautiful. Do you really think so? You're going to look fantastic. Oh, thanks. Oh, gosh, I've got to get a move on. Where are you going? I'm going into town to buy a present for Tom and Zoe. What are you going to get them? Oh, I've no idea. Something romantic. See you later. Bye. Bye. What are you doing? Nothing. Hi. Hi. Is that another new dress? It's not mine. Whose is it? It's Alison's. It's quite nice. Quite nice. It's wonderful. What's it made of? Matt, watch that ball! Oh, no! No good, I'm afraid. The stain's not coming out. What am I going to do? Alison's going to be really upset. Buy another dress. What does the label say? New York, Paris, Milan. I think it's very expensive. Why? Never mind. OK, let's go and get another dress. All of us. This is an emergency, Matt. OK, Jane, you go with Matt, take the shops on the left. I'll go with David, we'll take the shops on the right. Have you got all the details? Hi, everyone. Alison. Oh, hi. What's she doing? We're, um... We're planning our shopping. OK. See you back at the house. Yeah, right. Bye. Bye. Have you got your mobiles? Good luck. A 
any news from Jane and Matt? No. This is hopeless. What about this one? It's too small. This one looks bigger. It's the wrong kind of white. The wrong kind of white? David, look. That dress is almost exactly the same as Alison's. Excuse me. Oh, no. She's going to buy it. Hang on. Can I help you? Yes. Can I try this on, please? Excuse me. I don't think it's white enough. I'm sorry. I think this one's much better. Oh, really? Yeah, really. It's very nice. Can she try it on? Oh, uh, yes. The changing room's up there. I'll take it. Phone the others. Okay. How much is it? Two hundred and fifty pounds. Can I pay by American Express? Of course. Jane? We got one. Yes, we're going home now. See you later. Wow, that's perfect. How much was it? £250. £250? It's Alison. Hi. Hi. What's wrong? Uh, I had an accident with your dress, so I bought another one for you for tonight. Oh, thank you. It's almost the same as yours. Oh, this dress is much more beautiful. It's gorgeous. The other one only cost ten pounds. Ten pounds? Yes. I got it secondhand from a charity shop. Next time, Helen, forget Paris, Milan and New York. Head straight for a charity shop. On Sunday mornings, we usually just sit around and read the papers. It's so relaxing after a busy week. This is good. A weekend in Barcelona, including flights and hotel, £120. That's cheap. I went to Barcelona about three years ago. Did you have a good time? It was brilliant. The food was wonderful and the nightlife. How long did you stay? For a week. We stayed in a four-star hotel. We? Oui. Who did you go with? A friend. Have you ever been to Barcelona? No, I haven't. Here's another one. Paris, £190. Paris is fantastic. I went there when I was a student. I went when I was at school. So romantic. So you've been to Paris too, then? Of course I have. Where else have you been? Rome. Prague. I love Prague. New York. New York's great. What about you? Where have you been, Matt? Well, nowhere. Nowhere. I've been to Scotland. That's astonishing. Do you mean to say you've never been abroad? Only Scotland. You poor thing. Why don't you go to Barcelona? It's really cheap. And you haven't had a holiday this year. No, I went home to Birmingham. Birmingham's not exactly exotic. Why don't you go? No reason. How about next weekend? Well, I could do, I suppose. Come on. Let's book your ticket. All right. How? On the internet, of course. Flight JM514 to Barcelona, Friday the 23rd of May, at 9 o'clock in the evening. Check in at 7.30. What do I do between half past seven and nine o'clock? You get your boarding pass and you wait in the departure lounge. Hang on. Haven't you ever flown before? No. I've never been on an aeroplane. Actually, I'm a bit... Uh... Nervous? Terrified. Oh, Matt, don't be silly. 
Flying's really exciting. What about this one? That was a holiday in L.A. I had a girlfriend there. How long, um... We were together for about six months. No, I mean, how long did the flight take? About ten hours. Ten hours? What did you do for ten hours? Watch films, ate, slept. Anyway, your flight's only two hours. Have you packed yet? No, I haven't. It might be a good idea. Oh, right. Have you packed everything? <sighs> yes, I have. Passport? Yes. Suntan cream? Yes. Your toothbrush? I've packed everything. <sighs> have you phoned for a taxi yet? I did it 15 minutes ago. That's it. Well, go on. Where are you off to? Barcelona. Oh, have fun. <laughs> have a great time, Matt. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Adios. Bye. Hasta la vista. Safe journey. Hello? No, I haven't. That's impossible. I've just taken it out of my pocket. I've got it here. Oh, no. I've taken yours. Matt had a wonderful time in Barcelona. And the flight? He loved it. In fact, he's thinking about taking flying lessons.
When you live in a house with three other people, there's excitement, there's conversation, and there's housework. Good morning. 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 Did you sleep well? Okay. Where's the milk? There isn't any milk. It's on the table. What's it doing on the table? We're using it. Sorry. Would you like me to put it away? No, leave it. Is there any bread left? Or did somebody finish it? Oh hi. There's some in the bread bin. There isn't very much. And that's mine. What? You know, H for Helen, not M for Matt. And there aren't any clean ones. I don't believe it. How many cups are in this sink? Does anyone do the washing up in this house? I do. Me too. You never do the washing up. You always leave it to someone else. At least I do some cooking. Will I clear up the kitchen? How often? I did it last month. Right. That does it. Everybody, as from today, we're going to keep this place clean and tidy. What's the sheet of paper for? I can guess. It's a rotor for all the jobs around the house. So this week, Jane, you're cleaning the kitchen and cooking at the weekend. David is doing the washing up, and on Friday he's doing the shopping. Matt's cleaning the bathroom and cooking Monday to Wednesday. And I'm cleaning the living room and cooking on Thursday and Friday. Has everybody got that? Yes. Yep. Good. I'm doing. Why have you got that shopping? Uh, let's see, because it's my day for shopping. But I did the shopping today. You're cooking tonight. No, it's Friday. You're cooking tonight. But that was last Friday. You did the shopping and I cooked. Remember? Let's go in and look at the rotor. It's my day for the living room. No, it isn't. You're in the bathroom today. I cleaned the bathroom yesterday. No, you didn't. You were watching television when I came home. I did it after you went to bed. Ah,、uh -huh. let go of it. No, you let go of it. What's going on? I came in to do the living room, and he was cleaning the carpet. It's my turn. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Boys, why are you both carrying shopping? Jane got the wrong day. I didn't get the wrong day. You did. And you did. No, I didn't. I looked on the rotor. Tuesday was the bathroom. Hang on a minute. That's not right. I'm doing the bathroom tomorrow. 
Look, I'm doing the bathroom. You're doing the kitchen floor. No, 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 no. That's me. I'm positive. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And who's going to clear that up? Matt. Matt! OK, so the rotor wasn't a great success. But the house is looking good at the moment. Saturday I was coming home from the gym and I stopped to admire the view. Hi. Oh, hi. The weather's better today. It's certainly better than yesterday. Yes, it is. What are you doing tomorrow? Oh, nothing special. Just another boring Sunday. Would you like to go somewhere? What? Do you mean with... Yes, with me. Uh, yes, I'd love to. Where? How about on the river? We can go punting. That would be good. Great. I'll call for you at about half past nine. Uh, no. I'll call for you. OK. See you then. See you. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Bye. Bye. sleep. You're going out? Uh, yes, I'm going to meet a friend in town. We're going to have lunch. What are you going to do today? Nothing much. Well, I'll uh, see you later. Sure. Bye. Bye. Is Helen still in bed? No. She went into town about an hour ago. Are you just going to lie there all day? Yes. We could do something. Go somewhere. We could go for a picnic. What do you think? Matt? I suppose we could. We're going to have a picnic. That's not a bad idea. I'll make some sandwiches. I'll give you a hand. I can take my video camera. Oh. Have we got anything to drink? <laughs> Matt? I'll go and get something. Come on. gate, then along the path between the wood and the farm. That's the quickest way. 
It's quicker on the road by car. Don't be so pathetic. Come on. It'll only take ten minutes. This is perfect. It's so much nicer than the city. It's beautiful. Yes, it really is. It's this way. That's Jane. Come on, David. It's all three of them. Quick. What's the problem? They don't know about this. What? They think I went out for lunch. <gasps> Let's go back. Please, Simon. Okay. you say it was? Ten minutes. It's the longest ten minutes in history. It's just through here. Simon, we're going the wrong way. Oh, no! This was a great idea. Thanks. It's a shame Helen isn't here. Look at that. What? strange. It just appeared from nowhere. Really? That's funny. What? Look at that bag. It looks just like Helen's. In one of his plays, Shakespeare said something about not telling the truth. I wish I could remember what it was. Mornings aren't my favourite time of day, but some mornings are definitely worse than others. Where's Helen? Dunno. Perhaps we should go and call her. Don't bother. <coughs> are you all right? Not really. I keep sneezing. I can't stop coughing. My whole body aches. You've got a cold. Thank you, Doctor. Or flu. Have you got a temperature? Well, you don't feel hot. My temperature keeps going up and down. I feel awful. Have something to drink. It hurts when I swallow. You should drink something. I'll make you a cup of tea. Have you taken anything for it yet? Aspirin? Paracetamol? There are two. What about homeopathic medicine? Homeopathic. It's better than aspirin. I'll get you something on the way home. I have to go to work now. Me too. You're not going anywhere like that. You must go back to bed. I'll telephone the office for you. Just keep warm, drink lots. I'll see you this evening. You go up now and I'll bring you the tea on my way out. Okay. <coughs> Here you are. Oh, thank you. 
take it easy. I'll bring you some fruit later. Thanks. Hello. How are you feeling? A little better. My sore throat's gone. Have you been in bed since this morning? I felt too weak to get up. Have you eaten anything? No, I haven't. Have you had anything to drink? I had a cup of tea at about one o'clock. So you haven't had anything to drink for five hours? drink a lot when you have flu and you really should try to eat something sorry hi how are you feeling a bit better got you some aspirin oh thanks actually i've got you this it's much better what is it homeopathic medicine especially for colds what do you mean it's much better it contains only natural ingredients but it tastes disgusting at least it's not full of chemicals. Aspirin's very effective. It's been around for years. So has arsenic. Please, you too. <coughs> Here you are. Vitamin C. The perfect cold cure. I've brought you some soup. Oh, thanks, Matt. But I'm not really hungry. But you haven't eaten since last night. Sorry. I don't think you should go to work tomorrow. I don't know. Perhaps you're right. You can stay here and watch the tennis. Tennis? Yeah, Wimbledon. Who's that? It's Simon. Oh, no. I look awful. Don't let him come up yet. Matt. Oh, right. Here's the patient. How are you feeling? Not too bad. You know, up and down. I didn't know you weren't well. I've got some tickets to see a salsa band tonight. Oh, well, never mind. I can still go. No, you can't. Don't be silly. Jane's right. You shouldn't go out when you've got flu. You have to stay in bed. But what about the tickets? It doesn't matter about them. It's a pity to waste them. Why don't you go with someone else? What? Well, Jane could have your ticket and she could go with Simon. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Go on, Jane. Look, I'm feeling much better. Hey, stay there. 
You must keep warm. Okay. I'll go and get ready. We can go another time. So I didn't get to see the salsa band with Simon. Game set and match to Jane. We all like our food in this house, but I think David likes it a bit more than the rest of us. If nobody else wants this, I'll have it. David, honestly, where do you put it? You're such a pig. If you're not careful, you'll put on weight. He's already flabby. No, I'm not. Apparently, Simon used to be quite fat. I'm not flabby. He keeps very fit now. He goes to the gym four times a week. The gyms are so boring. I play tennis. At least that's competitive. You used to play tennis. I don't have the time now. Anyway. Julia thinks I look good. Yes, but will Julia still think that when you're like a balloon? A hundred and fifty pounds a month, and five hundred pounds to join. Actually, it's not really what I'm looking for. Thank you. Bye. Unbelievable. Oh, hello. I'm interested in joining your health club. Could you tell me how much it is, please? Your what? I'm going to have a workout this evening. Where? At the new fitness club. Isn't that expensive? It is, but they offer a five-day free trial period. Free? Yeah. Oh, David, you're terrible. What's terrible about that? Anyway, I'm starting this evening, so I'll meet you as soon as I get out. What time will that be? I don't know yet. Might do a long session, but I'll give you a call when I finish. And then we're going for a drink. Absolutely. Okay. Over here we have the weight machines and the free weights. Now, you use these to fill up your muscles and to uh, increase strength. Uh, over here we have the row machines, the exercise bikes, and the treadmills. Now these are good for CV exercise. CV exercise, cardiovascular, aerobics. You use them to uh, increase your stamina, to give you more energy. Right. Now I want you to do ten minutes on each machine. You think you can manage to do that? Yes, I think so. Okay then, let's start.
Yes, I'm fine. I'm just a bit tired. It can be tiring the first time. This isn't the first time. I used to do a lot of exercise. <laughs> I bet that was a long time ago. Right, the weights. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Oh, hi, David. Hey, what is it? The taxi. Why did you let it go? Well, don't you want to walk into town? It's much better exercise. Come on. So that was the end of David's five-day, or should I say one-day, membership of the health club. He never went there again. Last Saturday, we watched a horror film. Some of us found it really frightening. She's going to go down the stairs. Oh, no! Don't do it! Why is she doing that? Because it's a horror film. People always see stupid things in horror films. I can't watch this! Oh! What happened? He killed her. Really? No, the mother shot him. What a load of rubbish. It's not a load of rubbish. It's good fun. It was very well made. That's just what I was going to say. Thank you. Who wants coffee? Oh, please. yes, please. Simon? I'll get it. <laughs> I wouldn't go in the kitchen if I were you. No, no, Simon, don't. The ghost. Oh, yeah. The ghost. Ooh. <laughs> Actually, what? Oh, nothing. What, David? Well, there might be a ghost in this house. Where? In the kitchen. What kind of ghost? The ghost of a dog. <laughs> don't be silly. It's true. I don't know anything about this. Well, before this house was built... When was this house built? About 120 years ago. Go on. Before this house was built, there used to be an old cottage here. An old man lived in it, and he had a large black dog. And everywhere he went, the dog went with him. It never left him. How do you know all this? One of the neighbours told us. Anyway, the man was killed in an accident. A new family moved into the cottage, and the dog was taken away by the old man's sister. But that very first evening... Yes. ...the dog went back to the house and started howling. What happened then? The owners chased it away, but it kept coming back. Every night they chased it away, every night it came back and howled. And then? Well, not long after that, the cottage was destroyed by a fire. And this house was built ten years later. So where's the ghost? Well, when they were building this house, they found a skeleton of a large dog in the cellar. Oh. And the neighbour says that sometimes... Late at night, a dog is heard, howling. <laughs> There's always a logical explanation for that kind of thing. What would you do if you saw a ghost? They don't exist. If I saw a ghost, I'd run away. If I saw a ghost... The ghost would run away. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Simon, go and make the coffee, but don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Did you really hear that story? Yeah. The others fancy some toast. Do you want some? No, thanks. That was a great story. Who said it was a story? You know, the funny thing is... What? Well... Although I don't really believe in that sort of thing... Yes? I have... sometimes... heard a dog howling late at night. And I always thought it was coming from this house. 
Yes. Are you all right? Yes, yes. I'm fine. Matt. What? If I were you, I wouldn't turn the light off in your bedroom tonight. Very funny. very tired for some reason it was a typical Saturday night but Matt was acting rather strangely thanks thank you Oh, thanks. Are you all right, Matt? Yes. Are you expecting someone? No. Well. Aha. Uh -huh. Come on, Matt, tell us. What's been going on? Well, I was working today, and I'd just gone out for lunch. I was walking into Radcliffe Square when I saw a girl. She was doing a survey, you know, interviewing people on the street. Except she wasn't having much luck. Nobody wanted to stop. How long have you been standing here? Since 10 o'clock. And how many people have you interviewed? Four. My boss said he wanted me to interview at least 20. You could interview me. OK. Right. My name's Matt. Actually, I don't need your name. <laughs> oh. But my name's Mel. So, Matt, do you live in Oxford? Yes, I do. How long have you been living here? Since 1997. How many jobs have you had since then? Two. And what do you do now? I manage a computer games shop. How long have you been working there? Nearly five years. What newspapers do you read? She asked me about what newspapers I read. And the Observer. What food do you like? The food I like. Anything. What kind of clothes do you buy? The clothes I buy. We got on really well. Where do you go for entertainment? Uh, the cinema, clubs. Restaurants? Not really, although I quite often eat at Freud's. I've been there a few times. Really? I've never seen you there. I'm going there tonight, actually. Oh. OK, holidays. Which kind of holiday do you usually prefer? I really like going abroad. Uh, I've been to Italy a few times. I want you to ask her lots of questions. But she was asking me so many I didn't really get a chance. Did you go to a gym? After the interview, I went to buy her a coffee. But when I got back, she'd gone. Oh, Matt. Is she going to be here tonight? She said she was coming. How romantic. We haven't arranged anything. Oh, I'm sure she'll come. Of course she'll come. Her. Go on, then. Go on, Matt. Go for it. Hi. Oh, hello. So you came, then? Yes. 
Would you like a drink? Um, Hi. Sorry, I'm late. Hi. Hi. Oh, uh, this is Peter. Peter, this is... Uh... <laughs> Matt. Nice to meet you. Uh, there's a table over there. Are you sitting with us, Matt? No, no. Go ahead. Bye, then. Yeah. See you around. Oh, poor Matt. I'll be back in a minute. Who's that? My boyfriend. What do you think? Sorry. It's okay. Are you all right? Not really. I feel a bit of an idiot. Come on. What? Let's go and get some fresh air. Where are they going? I don't know. It seems a shame to waste their drinks. Oh, David. <laughs> Why does it always happen to me? It happens to everyone. What, even you? Yes, Matt. Even me. Did you like her? I thought she was really nice. Don't worry. There'll be someone else. Where? Anywhere. Here? Hmm. Matt? Oh. You mean... You. Gosh. How long have you... You know. Quite a long time. Me too. What are we going to tell the others? We can worry about that later. Yeah. said there was no such thing as a happy ending. Simon. And I'm Jane. Hi, Jane.
Where do you want this chair, Jane? By the window or in the corner over there? Ali, it's a lovely flat and this is a very pleasant street. What did you say the neighbours were like? Oh, don't worry, they're all lovely. You're going to be very happy here. Here, let me give you a hand. Why did you want to move in here? I've told you a hundred times, Matt. I needed a change. I don't understand. You had a great room at Helen's house. And more space. But you haven't got more space here. By the time all your stuff's in, it's going to feel really cramped. And you're moving in with your sister. This water heater looks a bit old, Mr. Usher. Call me Eddie. Is it reliable? Reliable? It's top quality, Ellie. I'm sorry, Matt. The whole thing between us was a mistake. A moment of madness. It wasn't. I love you. And I love you too, but not like that. I think I was feeling sorry for you. And that's not really the basis for a relationship, is it? Everything's in perfect working order. Any problems, I'm only a phone call away. Here's my card. Oh, thanks. But this is only for office hours. Isn't there a 24-hour emergency service? Ali, do me a favour. On this rent... <laughs> Just give me one more chance. Matt, please. That was my fault. I'm really sorry. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. What the hell's going on down there? I'm sorry, we just... We're just moving in. Well, can't you move in some other time? It's two in the afternoon. And I got back from New York at six o'clock this morning. So can you try to keep the noise down? your guitar, Jane? What? No, it isn't. It's mine. I'm off to a rehearsal now with my band. I didn't know you were in a band. Well, you don't know everything about me. Obviously not. Uh, you can't judge a book by its cover. Now, I'd like to hear you play. Have you got any gigs planned? No. We haven't. Not yet. We're uh, waiting for the right moment. Good for you. I used to be in the music business. I work with all the biggest bands. Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple, ABBA. Uh, maybe I can help you. Has your band made a CD? Here you are. Send me a copy. It was my fault. I dropped it. I'll see if I can get it repaired. That's beyond repair, mate. Professional. Non-smoking. Definitely. What else was in the advert when you moved in? Here you are. Oh, thanks, Ali. Sorry. What time do you finish today? At six. Are you all coming to see our new flat? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Great. Quiet. That's important. Put that in. 
What is it, David? What? Oh, nothing. Just going to the loo. What's going on? Have you got any money? Money? How much? I could possibly manage five pounds. Two hundred. Two hundred pounds? You must be joking. What do you want two hundred pounds for? Please, David. It's important. Please. Is the rent cheap? Hardly, but the landlord thinks it is. Well, we are renting a whole flat, not just a room. Maybe that's Simon. I'll go. How are things with Simon? I don't know. He's always busy. I never see him. What's that? I brought you a housewarming present. Oh, Matt! It looks really expensive. Yeah, it's cost a fortune. Simon, champagne and flowers. Uh, right. Thanks, Helen. It's okay. It's really thoughtful of you. Yeah, but uh, they're not from me. I found them outside the door. Hang on a sec. There's a note. It's from Bill. Who's Bill? I'm so sorry I was rude earlier. I was really very jet lagged. Welcome to your new home. The guy upstairs. What that grumpy American? Well, he can't be that grumpy, can he? In a bit. Yeah. Hi, Helen. I'm so sorry I'm late. It's all right. Your hair looks wet. I didn't know it was raining. It's not. I had a bit of an accident. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's a long story. I'll tell you later. What about you? You sounded really worried on the phone. What's wrong? Everything. Why? Matt's changed since you left. He used to be so quiet, asleep most of the time, half asleep the rest of it. But now, he's taken up the guitar. Yeah. He's joined some kind of band, hasn't he? What are they like? I haven't heard them, but he's appalling. And I don't know what to do about Simon. It's getting worse. He's just not interested in me anymore. He's always doing something else. Take last Tuesday. I'd been waiting outside the cinema for over half an hour before he turned up. Hi, Pat. Everything all right? I was really looking forward to seeing this film. But it had only just started when his mobile rang. Je suis désolé, Mathieu. Entre nous, c'était une erreur. Un moment de folie. Pas pour moi. Hello, mate. Je t'aime. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm really sorry, Pet, but I've got to go. But what about the film? Tell me how it ends. I'll call you later. Je t'aime, moi aussi. Mais pas comme ça. Je crois que j'avais pitié de toi et c'est pas vraiment une bonne base pour une relation, hein? It's been like this for weeks. I think he's seeing someone else. Are you listening? What? That's terrible. You should tell him to turn down the volume. Who? Matt. Matt! 
Thanks. That's really helpful. So what happened to you? You said you had some sort of accident. Well, it involves our new neighbor. Bill the American? Yep. Gosh. Got to hear this. I'll be right back. Ali had gone to work when I got home. I fancied a relaxing evening. So I made the flat nice and decided to have a shower. my toe. We haven't been formally introduced. My name's Bill. Bill Fisher. And I'm Jane. Jane Wilson. Good to meet you. Look, I'm, uh, I'm sorry about the door, but I, uh, I heard a scream. Yeah, it was me. When I got in the shower, the water was freezing. I think the water heater's broken down. You're not an electrician by any chance. Well, I am a scientist, although I work in pharmaceuticals, actually. Have you got a screwdriver and a flashlight? Oh, you mean a torch. Is that what they call it over here? Yeah, but I haven't got one. Okay, I'll go get mine. This is appalling. It was put in years ago. Can you turn off the main switch? Oh, yeah. It's probably in the hall. Yeah, right, of course. Next to the fuse box? Under the stairs. Okay. But just as I was going to look for the main switch, the phone rang again. It was you. Oh, hi, Helen. What are you up to? I'm standing outside Freud's and waiting for Simon. Can we talk? Of course. Shall I come and meet you there, say, in half an hour? I'm a bit busy at the moment. Thanks, Jane. OK. Bye. Are you done out there? Yep. I think I can see the problem. There's a loose wire. Can you hold the uh, torch for me? Unfortunately, the electricity hadn't been turned off. What do you mean the electricity hadn't been turned off? You hadn't turned it off. I know. And I felt terrible. Is Bill okay? Well... Hey, take it easy. I am so sorry about this. Accidents happen. It's no big deal. But just wait till I talk to Eddie Usher. That wiring is a disgrace. Ow! What is that stuff? It's a homeopathic cure. Hmm. Unscientific. But it's good. I guess you really like TV. Not especially. Why? Well, that's a pretty impressive screen. Oh, that. It was given to me by Matt. Is that the guy I saw you with last Sunday? Yeah. Is he your boyfriend? No. Ex-boyfriend. And then what happened? Nothing. I came here and left him to mend the door. You didn't. <laughs>
Nice one, boys. Very impressive, though you should work on that ending. I've drawn up a contract for you. Black trouble? Yeah, this old thing's useless. It was such a lovely day, I wanted to go for a ride in the country. Well, why don't you come with me? I'm just about to go for a spin in my MG. I should stay and sort this out. Yeah, I can fix that for you later, come on. Is that thing safe? Safe? You mean, like, can it give you an electric shock? I just meant it looks a bit on the antiquated side. That is one of the finest sports cars ever made in Britain. See you coming? Okay. Have I got time to wash my hands? Sure. Cappuccinos all round, Ellie. Okay. Let's get down to business. I liked your CD. I think you boys are good. I even think you might become quite big if you get the breaks. But listen, I'm only going to say this once. You must get a new singer. Got it? What's wrong with Matt? Oh, do I have to spell it out? No. Don't. Good. Because you should always listen to your Uncle Eddie. my little old English sports car. I love it. I never understood why the British stopped making cars. Okay, I, I can understand pulling out of volume production because those cars could be made cheaper elsewhere, but cars for niche markets? The Brits were the best. Sorry, Bill. This won't take a second. No problem. You don't have to sign anything you don't want to. But if we enter into a formal agreement, I can give you boys a helping hand. Finished. Thanks, Ali. Thanks. What kind of help? First off, I can fix you up with a gig. A gig? We could set up a gig for ourselves. At the Galaxy? I don't think so. What else? Let's put it this way. I'm seeing an old friend of mine this evening. He signs up new acts for the top record companies. I could ask him to come along to your show. What do you say? A new ride? I may be an American, but I'm no cowboy. I guess you can. Yeah, I love it. I learned to ride at drama school. It was part of the training. You know, speaking, singing, dancing, horse riding. Right. So, do you do a lot of acting? I wish. I actually do a lot of teaching. I've got to make a living. Sure. Do you like what you do? Well, my job. Yeah. My job's good. <laughs> There's no need to read the whole thing. It's a standard agreement. Sorry, I'll be back in a minute. I just need to have a word with someone. Girl trouble. Hmm. We're meeting at the Lobart about ten, so if you'd like to come along. Hi, Helen. Hi, Simon. I didn't see you in here. I'll catch you later. Is he a friend of yours? Oh, yeah. Well, sort of. Actually, I came in here to see Ali. What are you doing in here? <laughs> Everything all right? It's all totally above board, Matt. You just have to sign here. Uh-huh. But what about Simon? We only need one signature.
Yo copy. You won't regret this. You know how Matt was really cut about Jane? Well, this music thing's become really important to him, and I just wanted to give him some support. You mean all this secrecy is because of Matt? But why didn't you tell me? I thought you were seeing somebody else. Oh, sorry. I just didn't think I could tell you. I know you can't stand his music. It isn't music. Well, Eddie thinks it is. And you believe him? No, but Matt does. And that's enough for me. Where's Eddie? Oh, he couldn't hang around. He's a busy man. You know, I haven't had this much fun in a long time. Me neither. I'm getting to really like it here. That's good. The thing is, I might be going back to the States. For work? Yeah. That's why I had to go back to New York, just before you moved into the house. I might be taking on something new. It's not definite. They're still making up their minds. What's up? Nothing. I was looking for Ali. She's still at work, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Right. That doesn't look too good. Yeah. The chain keeps coming off. Right. I'll see you then. Bye. Bye. Yeah, but just for a drink. Nothing serious, then. The last thing I need right now is a relationship. Especially one where we could be waving at each other from opposite sides of the Atlantic. He's probably being transferred to New York. Oh, no! Oh, yes. Which is why I'm taking a step back. We should talk about this later. Yeah, sure. See you. Bye! Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm a bit lost. I'm trying to find a rehearsal room. Oh, for the Broken Hearts? Yeah. Are you going to the audition? Uh, you don't look much like a singer. Me? No, I'm a friend. A friend and an advisor. Is that where you're going? I can't find the number. Me neither. I've never been here before. Hang on. I've got an idea. Hello? Matt. David, hi. Just a minute, I'm taking a call. No, Matt! All oh, right. <laughs> Come in. For the audition? Yeah. Great. We're just this way. Oh, hello. 
Is that the Cosmic Harmony Center? Yes, I'm interested in joining one of your Tai Chi classes. No, I've never tried it. But I do yoga every day. <laughs> I'm sure the contract's all right, but uh, you know what Helen's like. <laughs> and she's making Simon nervous, too. You know I'm doing you a big favour here? Yeah, I really appreciate it. I mean, I normally charge for legal advice, mm. and I doubt that you could afford my hourly rate. And you are? Iggy. Great. Uh, we're not quite ready at the moment. Uh, why don't you take a seat? Whatever. David, just one thing. It's okay to video the candidates, isn't it? Candidates? It's not a job interview. David. As long as you don't use the video for commercial purposes, it's fine. That's what I said. That's brilliant. Thanks for your help, David. You know you still owe me the £200 I lent you for Jane's TV? I haven't forgotten it. I'll start paying you back after our gig. You're a real mate. Okay, Melissa. Can you tell us something about yourself? Sure. Uh, my name's Melissa, but I guess you all know that by now. And I've always wanted to be a singer in a band. In fact, I've been in a band, and our records have sold all over the world. Really? You know, I had a number 27 hit in Norway. And got into the top 100 in Luxembourg. And we were pretty successful for about two years. But then it all went wrong. Our manager was sent to prison. He was really horrible. He cheated us out of lots of money. Uh-huh. But hey, we were young and innocent. Things happen. How young? Well, I was eight when I joined the band, so I guess I was ten when we split up. Right. So, uh, could you sing something for us now? Sure. I'd love to. I'd like to sing Amazing Grace. <clears throat> Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. Hi. Hello, I'd like some information on your acupuncture classes, please. Yeah. It's Jane Wilson. The address is number nine, Manchester Road, Oxford. Okay, bye. What do you make of that? He's amazing. I had no idea he played the piano. It's quite something, isn't he? Maybe. But like I said, he's not for me. Oh, come off it, Jane. You're crazy about him. We're just having a bit of fun, that's all. We're just two ships passing in the night. Well, I hope you won't be sending me an SOS. That was hopeless. Ten singers. And ten disasters. What about Melissa? Her singing was even worse than yours. She's pretty fit, though. In an obvious way that doesn't appeal to me. I think we could all do with a drink. Good idea. I played in jazz clubs back home. For a time, I even thought about going professional, but... Work, money, career. Why don't you sing along? Me? Why not? I can't. You're always singing at home. Mustang Sally. Guess you'd better slow that Mustang down. 
Come on, don't be shy. Now stay, Mustang Sally, my baby. Guess you better slow your Mustang down. You've been running all over town. I guess you better put your flat feet on the ground. All you want to do is ride around, Sally. Ride, Sally, ride. All you want to do is ride around, Sally. Ride, Sally, ride. Wow. I think you found your singer. Absolutely. What if Bill doesn't want to do it? Bill. All you want to do is ride around, Sally. Ride, Sally, ride. One of these early mornings, you're going to be wiping those weeping eyes. Telling us the contract is a disaster. I'm afraid so. What if we decided to ignore the contract? Well, you could ignore it, but my advice is that you would be in big trouble. That's just brilliant. Why did you sign it? A contract drawn up by a wide boy like Eddie Usher. What happens if we do the gig, David? Eddie will get all the money. I'm not turning up at the Galaxy just to line Eddie Usher's pockets. You'd better do something about that contract, or we won't be playing any gigs anywhere. OK. I'll think of something. Yeah, right. And what about Jane? Is she going to sing with us or not? Look, I'm working on it. Don't worry. <sighs> Wow. Somebody likes you. <laughs> I doubt it. Who are they from? I don't know. There's no card or anything. Oh, they're wonderful. They must be from Bill. He likes to send flowers. I'll put them in some water. Yes. Jane, hi. Hi, Bill. I don't know what I've done to deserve them, but thanks for the flowers. The flowers? They're wonderful. Uh, but not from me. They're not? Uh, no, but anyway, it's good you called. Can we meet up later? Something's come up and I'd really like to talk to you about it. Such as? Well, I really don't want to talk about it on the phone. I'd rather tell you face to face. I'll pick you up at seven. Would that be okay? Sure. I'll see you at seven. Bye. That's weird. They're not from Bill. It's Eddie. Hello, Eddie. We're glad you've called. Are you? That's nice. Now, listen, girls, I'm a reasonable man, but rules are there to be obeyed. You're getting behind with your rent, and that isn't good for anyone. Why don't you arrange a standing order with your bank to pay me the rent every month? Because if you do that, we'll avoid any unnecessary unpleasantness. When you fix the wiring and repaired the water heater, we'll pay the rent, but not before.
That told him. At least we know Eddie can't have sent the flowers. You know what? I think it must have been Matt. Oh. Perhaps you'd better call him. Could you do it? Please? <laughs> Hi, Matt. Is that you, Matt? It's Ali. Sorry, Ali, there was uh, something funny with the line. I, I know this is a bit of an odd question, but did you send some flowers to Jane this morning? Will she do it? What? It was all on the note. There was no note. Oh, no, it must have fallen off. I want her to sing with us. Sing with you? Well, with the band. We need a singer, and when we heard Jane the other night, we thought... Well, I thought she was brilliant. Did you? So did I. You know something, that's a really nice idea. I'll have a word with her about it. Thanks, Ali, you're a star. Bye, Matt. How about trying something that could really change your life? It's crazy. You know, it's my job if I get caught. Eddie's the real criminal, not us. I'll probably go to prison. But if we don't find the contract, I'll never be able to pay you back all your money. So let's get started. How are we going to find the contract in all this lot? It's like looking for a, a needle in a haystack. I know. Got it already? No, but it's Eddie. They've offered you the job in New York. That's right. They emailed me this morning and wanted to know how soon Stop! I... Stop! What the hell are you doing in here? Legally, it's called breaking and entering. Who do you think you are, a lawyer? That's right. And I'm representing Matt and Simon. I wouldn't do that if I were you. If you call the police, I'll have to show them this. Mr. Asher, or should I say Mr. Pym, or Mr. De Quincey, or Senor Hector Fernandez? Now, the contract for the band isn't very favourable to my clients. I wonder if I might suggest one or two changes? David, are you OK? Couldn't be better. Listen, Eddie's agreed to make changes to the contract. Has he cancelled the gig? No, the gig's fine. Also, he's going to be doing some repairs to Jane's flat. All you need now is a singer. A what? A singer. Yeah, I'm working on it. Good. The only concession Eddie wasn't prepared to make was that the lead singer could be you. Sorry. Catch you later. Bye. Yeah, bye. Matt. Would you mind telling us what's going on?
I've been dreaming of this, Jane. I always knew you'd come back to me. Jane, hi. Oh, hi. How are things? Oh, fine. Listen, can we meet up later? I, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. The thing is, I really need to talk to you, and we never really got a chance the other day, what with Matt's unexpected arrival. We could talk now. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't right now. I've got to go to the office. On a Saturday? There's loads of stuff I need to sort out, you know, for the move back to New York. They're really putting me under pressure to leave as soon as possible. Right. Anyway, do you think we can meet up later? Say about eight? Well, you can try. Don't worry, I will. I'd like to take you out for dinner. I've been thinking. Uh-oh. No, really. What are you going to do about the band? Don't you start. I've already been sent this. He's a bit desperate, isn't he? Well, wouldn't you be? The gig's in ten hours. You've got to let him know. I will, I will. It'd be awful to let him down. And it isn't just him. There's Simon, there's Helen. She's doing everything she can. Even David's helping out, and for no money. Why don't you sing with them? You know the songs, and you've got a fabulous voice. What have you got to lose? You know what the problem is. I just don't want Matt getting the wrong idea. Anyway, Bill wants to take me out for dinner tonight. It's funny how people think bad news and food go together. I really think you should give Matt a break. Doesn't he deserve it? Deserve it? He's put such a lot of effort into this band, and he's tried so hard to put your relationship behind him. He isn't trying it on, I'm sure of it. He doesn't want to get back together with you. You seem to know an awful lot about Matt all of a sudden. Well, we've talked about it, that's all. One, two. One, two. It's not very original. Ali! <laughs> it's great to see you. But you're a bit early for the gig. I know. I was just wondering if there's anything I could do to help. That's really nice of you. Well, I want it to go well. Is there any news about Jane? She's not coming, is she? She must have decided to go out to dinner with Bill. Okay, Matt. It's down to you. Everybody, gather round. Everybody. Can anyone tell me what's going on? Warming up. Where's your singer? She couldn't make it. Couldn't make it? I've invited important people from the business, I've signed a contract that gives away nearly all my rights, and now you're telling me you haven't even got a singer. You're not singing, Matt. No way. Contract clearly stipulates that you are not going to sing with the band. Am I right or am I right? From a strictly contractual point of view, you're right. Eddie, we're on in a few minutes. Jane, I really care about you. 
You're the best thing that's happened to me in a long time. And I don't want to lose you. Well, I'm not the one who's going to New York. You could come with me. What? Well, I don't mean... I don't know what I mean. But there must be a way we can make this work. Please. Oh, I'm so sorry. I really ought to answer this. Okay. Jane, where are you? We need you desperately. What's happened? And now, let me introduce to you the one and only Broken Hearts featuring Eddie Usher! Eddie? You've got to be joking. They didn't have a choice. Wait a moment. I need to talk to Bill. What's going on? Is it the gig? Yes, it's a disaster. I've really got to go and sing. Okay, we can sort this out later. Ali, I'm coming. Get you in out here, make you walk the low, baby, please don't go. 